up? Big Herc 9-1 fix. Positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. Go to bigherc916.com, pick you up some merch, represent. You know, we got the new hoodies. It's okay to be a millionaire. It's all about motivation and your mindset. And one of the reasons I came up with these hoodies is because the connotation of being a millionaire for a lot of people, it leaves a bitter taste in their mouth because they think, oh, a millionaire, there's something dirty, there's something maybe uh, not not copacetic or something that rubs them wrong when a person says, I want to be a millionaire, whether they think that person thinks they're better than them or that person's uh, entitled. Well, I, I hear that and I don't think about any of those things I look at like it's okay to be a millionaire because it's okay to dream you know I used to uh, walk around the compound with my book bag when I was in prison and I had a bunch of different magazines in my bag I had legal books um, Wall Street Journal Forbes magazine Vanity Fair DuPont Register Raw Report DuPont um, Homes. I had all of these different business orientated or um, really high end uh, luxury magazines that I would look at to take my mind out of the confinements of where I was at, out of that prison, out of that dark place, out of that just negative vibration. And I used to look at these magazines and I would sit down for hours and Think about, okay, if I had X amount of millions, which car would I, you know, buy first? And where would I want to buy my home at? And where would I want to travel to? And if I had this yacht, where, where would I want to, you know, dock it at? And I, I just, I would just replay these scenarios in my mind over and over again and tell myself I'm a millionaire. I'm going to be successful when I get out of here. And I'm a, you know, uh, accomplish these goals and do this and that and a lot of times people would see me with these magazines and and uh ask me you know do you think you're going to ever own anything in that magazine you think you'll you'll be able to afford any of that stuff and i say yeah man how do you think you're going to do that i said because um i have a plan and when i get out of here i'm not going to work for somebody and entertain a nine to five i'm gonna create something i'm a I'm going to build my own um, platform so that I can have the freedom to do what I want. You know, I used to always come up with business ideas. I used to write a lot of business plans, had guys, you know, we were writing books. We were um, putting together, you know, movie scripts, um, all kind of stuff, man. So I always had really big plans that weren't limited to my shortcomings having having relation relating to prison and uh guys used to tell me oh man you think you're better than me um who do, who the f you think you are you're gonna get out here and and, and get you a uh you know a ferrari or 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 this this old school you're gonna have this you know um big ass house you know you better be lucky just to get out and, and get a job I said, no, you better be happy to get your ass out and get a job because you a bum. You better get out and be happy for that. Don't tell me what I need to be happy to get out and do. I'm going to get out and do what I want to do because I set my mind up for it. Don't be mad at me because I haven't succumbed to the limitations that you've already placed on yourself. Don't be mad at me because I have a dream and I, and I picture myself accomplishing goals and not settling. Don't be mad at me because I don't want to get out and go work for somebody because I have my own uh, self-drive. Be mad at yourself because you've accepted your reality. Be, 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 be content with who you are, but don't be mad at what I wish to become, who I will become because I'm not settling. I don't think like you. 
I might be here with you, but I don't think like you. And that can make a lot of people mad. And had I not maybe had the stature I had, maybe I would have caught a lot more fades. But because of the way I articulated myself and the drive of motivation and people were drawn to my positive energy, a lot of times those people wouldn't be like, Big Hurt, don't even sweat those dudes, man. And they would want to build. Man, me and you got to... We got a politic, man. We get out, man. We got to do some stuff. I'm like, yeah, you know, because I'm always trying to see the best in people. That's why I say it's okay to be a millionaire. I like to see people win. It inspires me to see people do things because I know that, damn, if they can do it, I can do it. I remember when my homie went and bought his first exotic car and he was test driving these different cars and sitting in them or talking to the guy at the dealership and it's like, man, it was exciting. It was exciting for me to be there with him, even though I wasn't buying a car because I'm not a hater. A lot of you cats out there are haters. So you see somebody with something, you think you're deserving of what they're, what they're acquiring, but you ain't put in the work. I was never scared to put in the work, man. But I also was open to seeing others win. And in order to be a winner, you got to accept others winning also. So... Pick you up a hoodie, man. It's okay to be a millionaire. Pick up my autobiography. Against all odds. It's on the website, bigkirk916.com. I'll sign a copy for you. And uh, man, represent, man. You know how we do it over here. Positivity and motivation, man. Subscribe and represent the channel. Big Hurt 916, I got something special to share with you. My life story, my autobiography, from growing up as a child to the man I become today. And you can pick it up at BigKirk916.com. I worked on this book for over four and a half years and it's finally done. I would like to share with you my life story. Hopefully I can change your life so you can make better choices than I did. Go to BigKirk916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car.